Forty waving American flag acrylic nail art tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a 4th of July or Independence themed nail art design. However, if you do not live in the United States, you could do this for your own flag or for like a pirate flag or you could really switch it up and do anything. The uh, key factor of this design is that the flag waves back and forth. So there's a little straw nail that goes, so the, the flag pole goes through the straw and then the little flag on the end of it you can it's attached and you can twist it a little bit on the bottom and then the flag waves back and forth. It's a pretty simple, um, pretty simple thing. The design itself is very quick. The hardest part or the most, I don't know, the most thought provoking part of this for me is figuring out what material to use for the flag, which took a long time to figure that one out. A lot of sleepless nights spent figuring out something that would glue that I could draw on that wouldn't tear or get messed up if it got wet. There was a lot of there was a lot of thought process just into that little element and as soon as I figured out what to do it was like so I hope that 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 little element will help you guys in other designs or in this design as well so please pay attention to that because that is kind of my like favorite part of this whole video so I hope you guys like it and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well so to start with like I said we are going to be putting a straw into the nail so take a little piece of a straw try to find one that's like a swizzle stick or not a swizzle stick, but like a stir stick or like a cocktail straw. And because those are really quite uh, thin and they're not going to make the nail super thick. And then just glue that down. It may take a little bit of time to get that nail glue to set, but try to get it so you can gently bend the straw so it'll glue down. But you also want to keep in mind that you want to use a nail tip that is fairly straight. Or if you're doing this with sculpting, you want to keep your, you want to keep the nail as straight as possible. The side wall is nice and nice and straight because that's going to make it just so that the wire turns turns really easy. Then you're going to want to take and with clear acrylic or whatever color you like, we're going to just be encasing this entire nail. When you go over the straw, make sure that you don't completely block in the holes of the straw. You need to make sure that you do have a complete opening passageway all the way through from one side to the other. That being said, if you partially block them, that is fine because the wire is much thinner than the hole in the straw. You just need it to be thick enough that the wire will go through. If it's if it's thicker than that, that's fine. It will be a little bit more wiggly, but that doesn't really matter. You just need to make sure that you can get wire to go all the way through there. Just make sure that you're encasing the entire nail. When you do go to file it, you want to make sure, which I'm doing right now, you want to make sure that you don't, you don't go all the way through your acrylic into your straw. You want to make sure that you maintain a layer of acrylic over the straw 100% and then just kind of smooth over it again with a finer bit just to make sure it's really nice and smooth and the gel polish that you're using on top of it will paint really nice and easily. And then, like I said, we're going to be painting over the top of the entire thing with gel polish. And you can, like I, like I said in the intro, if this is not, if you're not from the United States and you're not doing this for Independence Day, you can really kind of play with this and do whatever you want in the background. And even for Independence Day, you could do like fireworks in the background. I really wanted to keep it simple and just kind of focus on the flag itself. So I didn't do that. After you have your entire nail paint painted, I used a one-step gel polish, so there's no need for top coat. Then you're going to want to paint the flag pole that goes down the center of the straw so that it looks like it's not just missing in action. So I start out with a black line just to kind of do the outline of it. And then I filled that in with gray. Or you could also use silver, either way. And then I'm going to take a piece of a mailer envelope. This is kind of where it goes. So this one is a priority mail envelope, the kind that you get at the post office. And I'm just going to cut out my little flag piece. Now, you, as you can see, I it's got the little watermarks all over the inside of the package. You want to cut it so that you don't have any of that showing. You want it just to be a little white piece. This is a very fibrous material that does not tear. It's water resistant. It is perfect for doing this. And you can draw on it with Sharpies. So with markers, you're going to want to design your flag. As you can see, it does bleed a little bit, um, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. So I start out by making a blue rectangle. And then with red, I'm going to be adding the 13 stripes. And so when you do this, you're going to you're going to want to add a stripe on the top and the bottom of the flag and then three in the rest of the blue and two. Yeah, so I don't know if that makes sense, but you want to follow this pattern for adding your stripes on your flag. So then gently bend over an end of a piece of wire so it's got a nice little 90 degree angle on it. Chop off any extra, then slide a bead all the way up to the end of that. And you can either glue that in place or just let it be. And then take some nail glue and glue your flag to the top of your the top of your flag bowl, just like so. And that'll work out really, really well. It'll stick there. The nail glue holds in place superbly. If you'd like, you can secure it a little bit with some gel or something. I thought it was, it really didn't feel like it was going anywhere. So I just, 
the side there, which was good. And then you can slide your flag into that little flagpole slot in your nail. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of white paint to add my stars. I didn't want to do too much painting on this really because the paint will progressively wear off, but it does hold on really, really well. So it's not a huge problem, but I would try to use the Sharpies as much as you can and just add rows and rows of little white dots for these stars. And like I made, really paid attention to what I was doing with making sure the stripes were right. I didn't do that with the stars. I have no idea. I did not count them. I don't know if there's, if they're correct, if they're in the right pattern or the right number or anything else. I just wanted to fill in the blue with the little white dots. Nobody else is going to count them either. So you don't really have to worry about that. So like I said, slide your, your flag through there again. And at first I thought I was going to want to do it that way by just having the wire bent and that's how you turn the flag. And then I was looking, I was like, no, that's a, that's a bad idea. So I restrained out my wire in the process. It broke off, which was fine. Um, but I was just looking, I was like, yeah, I don't, I kept thinking that was the way I want to do it, but it's much easier if you just take a bead and you glue a bead to the end of your wire. And after I decided to do it, I was like, yeah, better, better choice. And that is it. Like I said, though, if you want to do more in the background, um, some holographic, you could paint the nail black and then put holographic, uh, like uh, fireworks in the background. That would be cool. You could paint the Statue of Liberty in the background. You can really go crazy with this. So I hope you like it and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.